I felt unstoppable. Good morning, girl. Let's do makeup and let's talk about your fashion week because we just have to. There's so much I want to say and I want to go over the different outfits that I wore and how I decided on them because honestly and truly it just happened and I just give God all the glory because I almost backed out. We're going to get into that. Make sure you subscribe to here. Make sure you follow me on all socials. Also on LTK, download the free app. You can see all my looks before they post on social. You'll get notifications if you want to sign up and be subscribed to my LTK, but download the free app. All of my posts are there before they go on social, like I said, and then you can get access to stuff before they sell out. The link to LTK is always in my description box. I just in my face today and for that reason I feel very dry. <laughs> I use this mitt, this viscous mitt, I'll mitten. I'll put it in the description box down below and I put my face wash on it and then I washed my face with it and that joint works. I don't do the viscous mitt. <laughs> wow why is that such a tongue twister? I don't do the viscous mitt every day. No way that is way too, it's a manual exfoliation. I mean you are actually doing it. That's way too harsh to be doing every single day but it works really well today. My voice is a little going from LTK Com, which is a different video. We'll talk about that separately. This is MAC Prep and Prime Lip. I always do a lip primer although the problem right now is I'm drinking my Valen Chai Latte. So how is drinking a beverage and putting on a lippy gonna work? Who knows? I brought this actually through Instacart at the hotel in Dallas for LTK Con because the 485 shade is for summer and I want to see if 470 fits me better and I already think that it will. Okay, so New York Fashion Week. You know, I went first time in February and that was just amazing. I felt good. I felt like I deserved to be there. I felt comfortably uncomfortable, like I say, and I said this in the video, and even like a lot of y'all were like, girl, please, what are you talking about? You know how to put looks together. But well, the thing about that is I'm not a fashion first content creator. I mainly create beauty content, although I create fashion content, right? So when I think about the fashion content creators, I'd be like, I don't feel like I understand the world of fashion. So yes, I be pulling things together, but I don't wake up thinking about patterns and trends and all that stuff. That's just not how my mind works. This, this, that ain't what I'm doing, you feel me? Again, Fenty Pro Filter for 70, the soft matte long wear foundation. And I'm gonna put on back my hand, make sure that this, oh crap, no, no. I gotta return this. No, it's not gonna be what I want at all. See? Heck no. No, 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 no. Oh my God, I'm so annoyed. It's too light. Well, I have this one size foundation. I think it was going different directions. I like the finish of the foundation. I was very matte, but I didn't like how golden, I, I looked too light. Let's do it again and see. Maybe maybe it was my maybe it was my concealer. Deepest 35NG, okay? This is a new one size foundation. So I do put my looks together, you feel me? But I don't stand here and be like confident in fashion, but little by little I'm getting there, which is a nice thing. And I ended up feeling very confident as fashion week was going on. But leading up to it, I was like, oh my God, I wanted to back out because because I didn't know where to begin when it came to finding outfits. I didn't know how I wanted to look. I didn't know what my end spot was. I just did not feel confident. So I let that didn't know feeling take me to buying stuff very last minute and just figuring things out very last minute. And I'm not a last minute person. I'm type A, I need organization, I need a plan. I can do it a little bit of spontaneity, but I need organization, I need a plan. So having waited so last minute was even a problem for me. It made me feel unsettled. Cause I'm like, this is not okay. This is not how I function. What is going on? And I knew that I wanted to have a photographer because I enjoy taking that top-notch, high-quality content, the footage, and posting it because to showcase that I'm taking this seriously, you feel me? Elevating and challenging myself in all the ways. So I knew I was going to do that. And then that also made me feel pressure because I'm like, oh my God, if I have a photographer, I really got to bring these looks. And then I also was like, I don't even know what I'm wearing. And I'm, it's two weeks away from Fashion Week and I don't know what I'm doing. You feel me? So not enough people talk about this, but it's expensive to buy all this stuff. I wasn't dressed by anybody. I would like to be dressed. What? Who wouldn't want that? You feel me? I wasn't dressed. This is my second fashion week. And I'm like, it's, this is also expensive. And I just felt the pressure like, damn, is this gonna be good enough? Like, it's not good enough. Is it gonna be bomb? Is it gonna be standout? Am I going to feel confident? That was what was on my mind. This is Sephora Best Skin Ever 50M. And I mean, it all came together and I figured it out. There was one item that I wanted to get from this black designer, but it wouldn't have come in time. But I really did figure it out and I, just, oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Forever 21 Lux did dress me. However, the dress I ordered, cause I, you know I'm a size medium, right? It didn't dawn on me and it was, it was, it was crunch time. I didn't realize that the dress didn't have any stretch to it. And I'm a thick girl and I'm not a medium in Forever 21. I have not shopped there in ages, okay? So I ordered a medium, mm -mm. it wouldn't go over my hips, let alone to go over my shoulders or whatever the heck. It just wasn't gonna work. And then they did send me a jacket and then they sent me these tights. The tights were too small too. So I didn't wear the jacket cause I wanted to do a full look of 
of Forever 21 Lux, which is what they were launching, and I couldn't do that. But I still have the jacket. It's a well, well made trench coat that I will wear at some point. So yeah, I wasn't dressed in that all makes a difference because imagine me being dressed. That takes that takes the headache off of having to find outfits. And if you wonder what does that mean? Well, designers or brands will contact you and ask if you'd like to be dressed. So they let you borrow the clothing. You wear it and then you return it. You gotta return it. I don't know how the process works. I don't know if they make you put a credit card down in case you never come back. Probably, because they gotta freaking cover themselves somehow. I mean, that would be the smartest thing to do. And you gotta return it, you feel me? And I can imagine, obviously, they're going to dry clean it. And then I don't know what they do with the items. I don't know what, what happens, but you're just, lo you loaned the outfit. And that is just bomb, because why not? Hello? I would love that. And God willing, that is gonna happen in the future, okay? And then being at Fashion Week in and of itself is just crazy to me. Because Marie had to remind me, Marie redefined on IG and on and on all socials. She had to remind me that I had told her a while ago that I wanted to go to Fashion Week. And I forgot that I even said that. But I've always known that I just wanted to elevate in my career. I wanted to be in spaces that I hadn't been in before. I want an all access pass. I want to be where I deserve to be. You feel what I'm saying? And I forgot that I had said that to her. So she was messaging me because she wasn't able to go. And she's like, girl, remember you said this? Oh my God. And I'm like, oh my God, I forgot I even told you that. And I'm just so sick about it because this is my second season at Fashion Week because I went in February and now in September. And it's just so crazy to see and just to feel like, wait, what? I? How? Granted, I wasn't at any of the top shows sitting in the front row, but just to be there was enough for me. And I know, I trust and believe in the Lord Jesus that someday I'm gonna be at the top show sitting in front row, you feel me? But until then, I will still be grateful. I will still give God all the glory because it is just, oh, it's just outstanding. It's outstanding, it's crazy. I am still reminded that a lot of this stuff is not normal. It's not. To the lay person, this is not normal. So it's like, wait, what? Great. I've I watched the video the other day actually, and somebody was talking about how people will just go to Fashion Week and try to get into events. See, look how light my face looks. It's crazy. Which I contour. Try to get into events, or I don't know, just take pictures outside and not actually be in the events. I don't know any of I don't know anything about that. I've never thought to even do that. That's not even my personality. I would never do that. Now, that might work for them, I don't know. But of course, I was invited to things and that's where I go. I go where I'm invited because, excuse me, I'm not mm -mm, I'm not that kind of person. Just knock, knock, let me in. Mm -mm. It ain't gonna be me. You feel what I'm saying? So that could be a strategy where maybe it's not so far-fetched that people are at Fashion Week, but for me to be invited to multiple events during Fashion Week, two, two seasons in a row, that's a big deal for me. And that's what I say is just unheard of, not normal and just amazing. Oh, and if you're wondering, this is a Real Techniques brush. This is the 261. So, so glad to be in there. And of course, so grateful to my management team. I'm with Kensington Gray, if you haven't already noticed it, you feel me? And I never made an announcement because ain't no announcement needs to be made. You feel me? I just move. And when I move, I move. You feel me? And then when I move, you see that I moved. <laughs> you have seen that I have moved. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So, you yeah, they just been they just been changing my whole entire life. This is the LYS Beauty Stick Contour. The shade is no limits worthy. And they getting me into these places and I'm just so, so grateful. Like what in the world? All right, so let's talk about look number one. So this was on Wednesday. This is a Fenty foundation brush. I went in and I was supposed to go to an event, but I did not land in time to go to it. So I went to my hotel and I changed. And as you saw in the vlog, I mean, I had a little bit of a problem getting into my room. I finally got into my room. I showered and changed myself really quick and then went to a different event. So there was a cocktail event that I had gone to and that was really nice. So the outfit that I wore that day, cause I was like, okay, I'm not gonna have my photographer that day. So what am I gonna wear? Because whatever I wear, I'm not getting a picture in this. <laughs> you feel me? And it's nighttime. So how good is the phone put the phone picture gonna come out to be anyway? That was my mindset. You gotta be, you gotta think. Cause I knew when my photographer is here, whatever outfits I have on, they gonna be what is hitting. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna get the real good quality pictures in those looks. You gotta be smart, you feel me? So I had ordered this dress from Amazon and it's really cute because I like that it was a deep V, really sexy. This is looking so crazy right now. And I'm like, oh this is so good. And I ordered a medium because I know that I'm a medium, but I have to remember that sometimes depending on what it is I am a small. So I ordered a medium and I put it on in the hotel. I was like, oh my God, it's so big on me. It was big on the waist and I was like, good Lord. And it really could have been shorter. I think it was shorter to be sexier, you know? But it was what it was. And when I landed, I had gone to Zara because I wanted to get that beautiful, is it viral? It could be viral. That beautiful Zara freaking blazer that is tailored. It's given mama, it's giving high end. It is so nice. It is tailored at the waist so nicely. And I went and tried that on and I tried on, see, I'm glad I didn't order online because I would have gotten an XL. And I think I ended up getting a medium, but it is really, really good. It is a very well made, it just feels 
it feels like a luxury blazer. It feels really good. So I put that on top because I was okay, this was gonna give me some structure on the waist. And then I put on some hosiery. I'm so annoyed. First of all, calling it hosiery is funny to me. And that's why I call it like that because it's freaking hilarious. So I put on some hosiery because I'm okay. I know that lace is in style, you feel me? Fishnet, whatever. It was all the same thing to me. Let me go ahead and put on this hosiery, you feel me? <laughs> and what's annoying is that I ordered a medium large. They were so big on me and I was so annoying. Like I said, I had I had a little issue getting to my hotel room and I was crest for time and I did not have time to be thinking about this big old hosiery that I had on. So I put it on and I was not feeling comfortable at all. I was like, yo, this hosiery is acting up. Granted, you couldn't tell, but I knew I could feel that this is big on me. <laughs> So I wore that and then I wore these mesh Amazon shoes. Now, these mesh Amazon shoes piss me off because you really need to, I'm gonna make sure I get this in the middle. You really need to size down because they're so big. I don't understand why they did that. The mesh Amazon shoes are so big. So make sure you size down on those. And I got them in black and I got them in white. So I brought them with me again because the mesh shoe, but your toes are still po poking out is a trend. So I knew, Okay, because I did research the trends. I did. I was like, I need to know what what is trending. Like what? And I get it. Fashion is you is yours. So hell, if you want to do something, you do what you want to do. But then again, people like to see the trends. That's what gets written about. That's what people tend to shop based on. You feel what I'm saying? Not only am I going to Fashion Week to serve the looks. I'm going to Fashion Week to show the girls outfits and of course to sell because people are shopping based on what they see us wear, what they see me wear. And that's a that's a great thing, you feel what I'm saying? And I get it, because folks want you to basically use your money, try it on, wear it out, tell me how it is, and then if I want to, I'll go buy it, right? Versus you going to spend your money on all these things and then trying to figure out what is good, what is not. People don't have money to just be doing that kind of stuff, you feel what I'm saying? So I get that. So yeah, I got the trendy things, but then it was, it was lace on lace. And really that wasn't supposed to be what I was gonna do, but it all worked out, right? So I put those shoes on and that was good. I gave my feet a nice rest first night of fashion week and it was cool. So then when it came to day two is when I wore another outfit, but see, that was the day that I was going to the Fab 21 event. So I was supposed to wear burgundy, which is also on trend. But like I said, the burgundy dress did not fit me. So dang it. And, 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 and they were trying to get me into the actual store to go pick up another dress that would fit me, but that never happened. So I was like, dang it, and good thing. I didn't bring enough alternate outfits and I learned a lesson there, bring alternate outfits because you just never know. You feel what I'm saying? I ended up putting this outfit on and I liked it. I think it came out great. And then I'm glad I brought different options for shoes because I was kind of sure what I was gonna do, but I wasn't really sure. And that's why I bring two suitcases because one suitcase is my standard stuff that just stays in my suitcase that I take with me all the time wherever I go. And then one suitcase is all of my looks. So that is a suitcase that gets empty and then refilled every time that I'm traveling somewhere. So it's all the outfits, the accessories that to go with it and then different options. So I can bring extra shoes, bags, whatever the case is, outfit, because that suitcase is dedicated to that and I use United. So I get to take two bags for free that are up to 70 pounds. And girl, I be taking advantage of that. Do you understand me? I ended up using this Urban Revival vest that I wore at Fashion Week because it was just so good. And like I said, I was gonna have a photographer and I wanted to shoot good quality pictures in this vest because it was so cute. I wore it one evening to a dinner at Fashion Week and I was like, no, this needs another moment. And I don't subscribe to the idea that if I've worn something once, I'm not gonna wear it again. How? Not in this economy. We're gonna wear it again. We're gonna style it differently. You feel me? Because when I wore it in Essence, I wore it with a white or a cream beige type pair of pants. And this time around, I said, let me add something darker because I wanted to do the lace situation again. And again, these lace tights were freaking big on me, but I made it work. You couldn't tell, you know what I'm saying? And then I paired it with this skirt from Target Future Collective. See, the thing that always confuses me about social is I did the video where I did a try on haul for Future Collective because you gotta, get that stuff out quickly because stuff sells out and folks wanna know now. But then I was like, okay, then you gotta actually wear, you don't gotta do, but I am going to wear the actual outfit again. So then I wore it, right? So you see this skirt twice. And I wasn't gonna do the blazer and skirt together. I wanted to do something different because you gotta just switch it up. It can't be the same old to be expected outfit. I wanted to do something different. So the skirt is Future Collective. Again, all these looks are on my LTK. All the looks are gonna be linked down below as well. So I did the Future Collective bubble skirt, which is really cute. And I'm wearing a, what am I wearing? A medium, I think. It's on my LTK, you, you'll see it there. And then I. Did did the lace stockings, <laughs> stockings, hosiery. Then I did these YSL dupes that are from Amazon. These are so good. I did the burgundy there. And I meant to carry a burgundy purse. What happened? Did the purse not come in yet? I don't know what happened, but that's actually okay because then it allowed my shoe to pop because that was the only burgundy I had on. And we know that burgundy is on trend for this season. So it popped there and the shoes, so freaking cute. Love the gold heel. So it just popped so nicely. And then I had my Fendi bag. I know that I need to get more bags, especially evening type bags. I recognize that too. I'm like, I need to get more. I gotta be more focused. So that was a look 
look and then I paired it with the Lorve sunglasses because you know, you gotta add some shades to certain looks because it just gives you a vibe, you feel what I'm saying? And that's what I did and I like how that look came out. To me, it was simple and easy. It didn't take a lot of thought for me and it worked. And I was like, oh, this is good. I felt good. I felt on trend. I felt sexy. I felt good. I did, I really felt good. So I was like, okay, good, I did this. And my hair, oh my God. I wanted all kind of hair looks, but that didn't work out. But I know you gotta identify what your power look is. The look that when you do, you feel your greatest. It's usually something that is easy. And for me, it is the slick back. It is just the slick back, it's easy. So just like last fashion week, actually, all my looks are gonna go with the slick back and that's okay. And I loved it because my hair was off my face. It gives serious, it gives classy and I love it. So the hair was slick back and that was that. I just took some more of the Makeup Forever HD setting powder. This is and golden down the middle of my nose to highlight. So so this was the next day on Thursday where I wore the outfit with the lace and the and the vest. And in the evening, right? Cause okay, so last year I didn't change my outfits each day. I was trying to hold on tight. I was trying not to drown. I did not understand. I just, it was just too much. Okay, it's for a collection micro smooth. This is the shade 85 espresso. So, but this year I felt more confident and I, I wanted to change my looks. I was just, like I said, more confident and more comfortable. So I changed my look for the evening and I'm, I'm happy that I changed my look. I see why the girls do it. it just gives you a different vibe and it's fun. I'm, I'm leaning into fashion more and I'm loving it. And I was like, I'm just, I'm changing my outfit, right? So this look I actually saw on Shay Nicole. She was doing a speaking engagement somewhere and she wore it in pink. And I was like, this is so freaking cute. And this is from ASOS. So it's this colorful set. And originally I was gonna just wear the blazer and the shorts, but I was like, you know what? Let me do the whole thing. So I ended up ordering the the bra in, the bralette afterward. I ordered it and it was too big actually. I got a 10 and I had to realize, girl, you're an eight. Okay, you're a medium, you're an eight. So I had to read order it and then send it back. And I had to do express shipping because again, I was doing all this last minute. So I had to do express shipping and then even the shorts was a 10. I wanted to get an eight. I had to have the shorts sent to my hotel because it was last minute and I needed it to have an eight. And I'm glad I got an eight because it just fit me better. You know what I'm saying? So I wore this and I felt really, really good. I mean, the shoulders on this blazer are outstanding and people loved the look. I don't shop at Usos, but I do now. I will now because it was just too good. They have this Lux line or a Lux section and I loved it. Loved, loved, loved it, okay? So I loved this look. I'm definitely gonna wear it again. I felt so good. And the hair being pulled back just worked. And then, like I said, I brought a few different things. So I brought my pink sunglasses because I was like, maybe I'll do the pink sunglasses with this outfit because there's pink inside and that might work. And it did, it felt so good. And then I was like, I could do black shoes, but no. Let's do the burgundy. Burgundy and pink are in the same family. Why the hell not? And that's what I did. And I loved this look. Lace hosiery. And I just felt so freaking good. I felt so good. I went this in the evening and I took some pictures and it just came out so good. The Bacardi event was so nice. I love how it was it had this orange light situation going on. So the picture I took in the orange light when I was dancing, I love that so much. It just shows that despite what's happening in my life that is not the greatest, I feel good. I am excited. I am happy. Happy. God has worked everything out for my good. He is working on my behalf. He is going before me. He is He has already gone ahead of me. He has already set a table for me in the presence of my enemies. And that is how I felt at Fashion Week. I felt unstoppable. So the next morning, crazy enough, was my last full day at Fashion Week. It was, it was very brief. I was gonna stay until Sunday, or was it Monday? And I'm, I just cut it short, cause just too many things going on. I had three different trips booked for September and it was enough. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go home early. So I went home on Saturday. So anyway, back to Friday morning. Remember from a video that I did here on YouTube, I had this outfit from a black owned brand and I never, I could never figure out where I would wear this to. So this was almost a last minute uh, like idea from me where I was like, wait a minute, I could wear this to fashion week, right? That's a time to be bold and loud without abandon. I'm gonna wear it there. Cause I couldn't think of any other ball I'd be going to where this big tool skirt would be appropriate. So I was like, oh bet this is easy. And I already had the look sent to me months before. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna wear that. And not to mention, the, I had two events that morning. One of them was a KG luncheon and it was, it fit the color scheme perfectly. And I was like, okay, good. I don't have to worry about getting something for that event. Cause I already have this look. So that worked out just perfect. Let me see the Juvia's Place Warrior Two eyeshadow palette, by the way. So. I I wore that and I felt great. And it, it didn't even dawn on me that the color scheme for the Black Excellence Luncheon included the color I had on. I, that was not intentional. And I didn't, it didn't even dawn on me that wear colors that match the color scheme of the invitation because then you'll match the color scheme in the room. That was not on my mind. It just so happened that it matched and I felt good. I felt like it fit, it all worked out. And the outfit was so cute. I felt like a little princess and everyone was staring. I mean, the, the look is loud, it's a loud look. 
look, I'm talking about from the elevator in the hotel, everyone in the lobby, standing outside, everywhere. It was like, whoa, the look was loud. And it was perfect for New York Fashion Week because it made me stand out. Do you hear me? It was so nice. I felt confident at the luncheon. Everyone loved the look, especially since it was a black owned designer. I mean, why not? And even when I went to the KG event, it was just so cute because part of the branding colors was that soft pink color. So the outfit was so cute. The skirt is really long. It's poofy. It's beautiful. I love the off the shoulder situation with the top. It just, it's just a sexy, flirty, fun, look. I rolled up the shirt to give a little bit of a midriff just to break up the look because it just makes a difference when you do that. And I loved it. I felt confident. I felt good. So then I went home and I changed, of course, because changing is my thing now. It just feels good to put on something new, you know what I'm saying? And this was not planned. It wasn't intentional at all, but it just so worked out because then at the LTK event, LTK's brand colors are white and black. So my outfit for the night was black. Again, it wasn't intentional, but it all worked out. God was really working in ahead of me and I just had no idea. So my outfit for this one, I never tried this lace dress on ever, but I just trusted that it was gonna fit me because on the inside of it was this bodysuit and then it was lace. And I'm like, sure enough, it'll fit. I hate trying things on. It is not what I like to do. Although I do try on hauls, I gotta tell you right now, I hate it. I don't like. I don't, okay, I like the end result. I like doing it. I just hate having to try things on. I don't like trying things on in store, at home. It ain't my thing. If I'm gonna try it on, it's when I'm gonna wear it to go, okay? So when I put this dress on, I was like, oh, praise be, it fits me. Now the neck was a little bit big. That could have been tailored had I tried it on beforehand, but it was what it was and it was all good. The look to me was so sexy because again, my hair is pulled back off the face. And then I did my Chanel sunglasses that I've had for a while. I was like, you know, it's nighttime. We're gonna give incognito vibes. Let's just go all out. So I did the sunglasses, you feel me? And I kept my same makeup from the morning with minimal touch-ups and my makeup was lasting because you know me it's, it's just gonna last you know and I was thinking okay black shoe to just keep it all black but again I was like no let's do something different and thankfully I brought extra shoes so the same burgundy one that I have from Amazon the YSL dupes I have in this caramel color and I was like let's just do caramel and then if you saw my vlog I was gonna do this light glass black bag that I got from Shein ages ago that I'd never worn. Girl, that thing is so cheap, it broke on me, so that wasn't gonna work. Of course, I had my Fendi bag, so I just wore that and it was what it was. Oh, and then I threw on the Zara blazer. Oh, I'm so glad I even found that blazer. I got that blazer in New York. The day that I landed on Wednesday, I went to a Zara location, I forget the street, it must have been Fifth Ave somewhere, and I went and thankfully they had my size. So I wore the Zara blazer, girl, it was just a look, man. It was just a dark night, sexy look, and I had not put it on. I just had the vision in my mind and it all worked out and I felt good. Okay, those pictures, I've never done such a look. I've never taken such a picture and I felt just good, just great, just, oh. And then you see the back, you feel me, your girl been working out, so you see the fruit of my efforts. I mean, you can't beat that. You just can't beat that. I am living in my prime. Do you understand me? I tell anyone, this in a conversation where it is fitting that I don't feel like I've lived my best days. Absolutely not. I'm literally living in them now. And I am so, so grateful. I am, I'm just eating it all up. This is the, I'm looking to see this color I wanna use. This is the Caviar Eye Stick from Laura Mercier and the shade is Starlight. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle of my, yeah. I just love the look. I felt so sexy. And then I had to keep reminding myself, girl, hike up the bodysuit so that it's not given shorts, so that it's giving bikini. Like hike it up so it has more thigh showing. So I had to figure that out later on in the night and when I was taking the pictures and I felt so good. I felt so sexy and y'all loved this look. You've never seen me in it. So on social, it was like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Cause Sinead had posted a video and I reposted it and it was like, wait, what? And then when I finally posted the pictures, it was like, wait, what? You feel me? So just so exciting, just so fun. I just felt so good. I didn't get a lot of video except me getting ready in the bathroom cause everything was go, go, go. You didn't have get dressed with me, but you had the pictures, which was fun. I had such a great time. I feel so grateful to just be involved in New York Fashion Week, playing with new looks, exercising my sexiness and living in my skin, living in my skin and being the woman that I wanna be. You feel what I'm saying? Who I am now is not who I used to be. This is who to be. Eyeliner, the shade is very Vanta. And I love that for me. I don't need to be the same person year after year. I like being different in a better way, not different in a worse way. You feel what I'm saying? And I felt so good. 
I I felt like I stood out. I felt great everywhere I went. The girls were just cheering me on and that is something you can't buy. It's priceless and I value it so much. And we all, I mean, everybody looked amazing. And what I love is when the girls get together, it's, oh my gosh, you look so great. Just back and forth, it's pictures, it's loves, it's hugs, it's conversations, it's laughs, it's maybe some tears. You saw that at, at the February 21 event when I had ran into Tanya, because I haven't seen her in so long. And just between she and I, we had a moment a year ago. I'm trying to blur this, like a year ago. So just seeing her again, we just, we had a moment and that was just, you know, just, just natural. <sighs> just so many good things. New York Fashion Week was just so great. I'm just so grateful that whenever I meet other creators, usually, I mean, I don't, I don't be getting into mess. I don't be having mess and all of that. And it's always love, or usually it's love, and it's it's genuine, and oh, I got eyeliner on my content. And it just feels good. There's uplifting conversation, there's an exchange of ideas, and it just feels natural. So that I'm always so grateful for. This has been a long chat. Doesn't it feel like FaceTime? You gotta comment, let me know what resonates with you, what outfit, tell me what outfit was your favorite. And I'm gonna finish up this look. I have therapy in 10 minutes, all right? So thank you for watching this video. Make sure you follow me on all socials. All the links to my looks are down below, in addition to the makeup that I'm using. And I will see you in the next video, girl. Bye.